Welcome everybody to Hot August Nights 2022. So Hot August Nights is always the first week of August every year. It's an annual event and it always starts Monday of that week. People pick up their packets, registration, they get ready for the event and then Tuesday is when the actual cruising and enjoying of Hot August Nights starts. Yes sir. So we drove in on Wednesday. We didn't record anything on Wednesday but Thursday is where our journey starts. So let's go right now. And the first thing we're gonna go do is go to the swap meet that they have every year at Hot August Nights. Typically, it's not really that great. Of, you know, it's it's definitely not Pomona. It's not a Long Beach swap meet by any means, but it's a swap meet regardless. Let's go check it out. August night swap meet was okay, like it always is. But we did find one thing that was pretty good, a pair of yellow plates for a good price. So yesterday, on Wednesday, dude, it poured rain. I didn't get any footage on the camera, but I got it on my phone, look at this. Flooded the street, being in the desert, it dried up really quick, but it's still, there was water. There was so much water everywhere. So it's saying it's supposed to rain from like three to six here today on Thursday. So let's go try and check out some cars before it starts pouring rain. Then we'll, we'll look at the cars after it's done pouring rain later on in the night. Well, we got here just in time for it to start raining. Boo. And you know I'm not gonna take this camera into the rain, so... All right, the rain has stopped for today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow too. We're gonna do the best we can to combat this rain. But we are moved over to the pepper mill now. We got Big Red here. We also got a nice 55 right here. Not bad, huh? Looks pretty cool. So let's do some walking around now that's not gonna rain. And we'll check all these cars out. on the street is this beat a 72 Camaro before it has it has once I'm looking for redemption though different combination of today now but he, he did beat me what is this sticker I, I recognize this from somewhere well this is a new new setup so so good old Craig at race engine systems built this fine engine it runs it runs better now than it did before so next go around I better really have my a game going Scale of one to ten, how slow is it? The slow Nova driver? I think it's a turd, man. It doesn't get can't get off its own way. So if you ever wonder in all the all the comments I make about the slow Nova driver, this is him right here. This is his car. So what, what kind of asphalt is he paving with those steamrollers on the back? Uh, 16 16s. He says those are small tires. I don't know how he's measuring tires nowadays. He must have a special team measure. But they, I think they get bigger every time I see them. Check out the C10 that just rolled in. Pro charged, with the Steve Morrison engine in it. Thing sounded really good. Has a beautiful paint job on it too. Very nice C10, very nice truck. It rained earlier this morning and we also did some work to the car, which you'll see in the road trip video if you watch that. I just wanna say Hot August Nights is a very unique event. I said this in the video last year. It gives the sense that you're like in 1975. There's car, old cars cruising all over the city. It's one of the trickiest events that I've seen for a classic car event. I don't know if any other event does that manages to do what Hot August Nights does. Definitely unique, it's very different. It's, it's a trick to be able to drive around, not just drive to a show, 
or to drive around for a week and enjoy your car. It's really neat. It's really a free trick. Yeehaw! This thing runs good. In our road trip video, you'll see a few of the issues we're having, but I think we've resolved them, or at least we know how to resolve them now. Right now we're pulling up to the Grand Sierra Resort, which is one of the, it's basically the whole city that, but I guess what the main, there's like five main areas. It's definitely a main one for sure. So there's Grand Sierra, Pepper Mill, downtown, Atlantis. It used to be Victorian, which is kind of not so much anymore because Reno's trying to be like California and build these ginormous apartments everywhere. And it's taken away from Victorian now. So anyways, we're pulling up to the GSR and we're gonna walk around. Hey, look, I found the proud Camaro owner in the wild. <laughs> duck down, duck down. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. Fancy seeing you here at Hot August Nights. Yeah. Did you bring a car? I did. I brought a Firebird. You what? Let's go walk around. All right, let's do it. We're here with the Proud Camaro owner in his Pontiac. What are you doing driving a Pontiac? Yeah, what are you doing, Proud Camaro owner, doing. driving a Pontiac? I don't know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> hey, even the Proud Camaro owner needs to mix it up once in a while. Get out some variety. Yeah, a little spice of life. How do you like this here Pontiac of yours? I love it. Look at it. Quit looking at me and look at the car. <laughs> the car's a lot better looking. He said this might be the first LS swap he's got. Maybe. What's that song? Rev it up, blowing them up, GTO or something? Yeah. We don't have a GTO here, we got Pontiac. Pontiac did good though, it's running nice. Drive it up here? I did not drive it up. Well, well amateur. I did drive it to here, yes. <laughs> but not from San Diego. I, I'm not brave like you guys. Power <laughs> rock and roll. Drive it up. All right, we're all done at GSR. We're back here at the Pepper Mill. See? Because we are staying at the Pepper Mill. Look at that right there, Pepper Mill. Very nice place to stay. Got a nice room. We are staying here. You just said that. See, look, we're even parked next to the same 55 that we were parked by earlier. At the GSR, they had, what were they called? The Heartbeat of America or Starship or Ocean Breeze. And the Camaro owner is very proud of them. What, what was the song they were playing? Um, Achey Breaky Heart or something? Party in the USA? I don't remember what One they were. One of those songs. It's pretty good. We're closing out Friday. We're going to be up tomorrow for Saturday. Right and early. And the next day. Saturday is what comes after Friday. I'll get the we have a cop coming to get us. He's gonna tell us to go to our room, go to bed. No, no time. Good night. All right, it is Saturday. I had the federal agents come after me for recording inside of a casino. Almost got arrested. All right, so we're gonna go downtown and walk around because during the day you can walk around on downtown and then the nighttime they turn into cruising and you can cruise through downtown. So let's head over right now. A nice little 31 Ford, huh? That's pretty tricky. A little diesel in there, a little Cummins four cylinder. I bet it gets up and goes pretty good. Yeah, I said it had like 400 horsepower or something, makes pretty trick. Be yeah, pretty good size turbo on it. Looks nice. This car's sure are gangster, huh? Uh huh, another pretty trick. You should get one of those. I should. Put the four cylinder in it? Wear my uh, top hat and what do they call those? What's this, uh, what's this guy? What's this guy? You wanna be on camera? I like four cylinders. This Woo! guy. This guy's a handshaker. <laughs> what's up, buddy? See this? What up, <laughs> How do you know this guy? This is a good old. No, I mean, you know. This is a handshaker. So I've known him, uh, yeah, I've known you since oh, wow. uh, the dealership. The L5, yeah, that's right, yeah. So he's, dealership. He was a, he's a car salesman, believe it or not. Not anymore. He was a car salesman. Yeah. At a dealership. That's why he shook everybody's hand. That's why he's a handshaker. Yeah. You sell cars with that beard? I shake hands. I don't sell cars anymore. Okay. Service rider now. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to believe this guy when he tells you you need front brakes. I about your service. So, sir, you need front brakes today. So I'm over here handing out my cards <laughs> going, hey, a little bit of brake fluid big there. You're like, You're like, yeah, yeah, I'll talk to somebody else. I'm over there measuring brakes. Hey. So he had a he had a bot Chevelle for a while oh that was God. kind of fast. He's like a low rider guy. I'm a low rider guy at heart. But like a white boy low rider. <laughs> so I've known him since like 05. 
05 August. 05, yeah, 05 the handshaker. So here's uh, the handshaker's truck. It's got this thing for quite a while. Converted into a right hand drive. It looks pretty good. Tell them about your truck. What is this thing? It's a uh, Mazda B2000. <laughs> 1985. You watered it and it grew it up a little bit? Yeah, there's all kinds of leaks. Keeps it clean that way. Yeah, nothing rough. So it's, six, it's a 62 truck, but why does it have a 64 to 66 cab? I just like to be different. You just make up random numbers when you get registered. Yeah. What's this thing riding on? <laughs> What's this thing riding on? Uh, it tires. It's got some rubber. vacuum air. It's got uh, air. You're yeah, on Firestone. Some uh, Yokohama airbags. Yokohama? <laughs> got the Pirellis on some here? Some Geolanders. <laughs> How's that riding on? Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Look at downtown in the daytime once again, but now we're going to cruise down Victorian by the Nugget, which is something that we haven't shown last year and we haven't shown yet this year. Normally, there's a lot of people. We haven't gone down Victorian in a long time, so what? Five years? It's been a while. 2017, I, I think. No, yeah, 2018. The last time. 2018 was the last time we went was, down Victorian. It's pretty dead because of the. I think because of the construction and everything. Construction construction's pretty much done yeah, now. Yeah, so I think it's better now. We're gonna cruise through and see what's going on. So far it doesn't look like there's a lot of people. Yeah. They changed. Now we're gonna go back through. You gotta go kind of through it halfway. And then you turn and you can go to the drag races that they hold at the Nugget. Same place as the Victorian Cruise. It's a 16th mile drag. So we're gonna go see how we do with the track. It's a 16th of a mile. I'm sure it's because they don't want people getting too fast. I don't know. 90% of these cars, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, 95, 96%. And 8.9. Three, take it or leave it. Now that we're here in the pits at the drag races, what do you think Big Red's gonna run in the 16th? Not very fast. It's probably be like, I think a 10. Something in the 10s would be good. All right, sir, let's see how it does. Check it out, let's try this out. This isn't nothing crazy, I'm just gonna leave it in drive. I'm not gonna set the world on, world on fire, I can tell you that. I don't even know if I should do a burnout. Yeah, I guess I gotta do a burnout. Let's do a burnout. Man, you're asking for a lot to do a burnout. Huh? You're asking for a lot to do a burnout. Well, we'll have to do it next time. This is just a little guy in here. Your door's open. My door's ajar. When's your door not a door? When it's a jar. 1962 Biscayne. Come over here in 62. 327 Chevrolet. Usually your first pass at that. Let's get acquainted with the racetrack then. Slip right now. How did I do? Really set the world on fire? We did an abominable 59.85 mile an hour. We did my last time was 6.66. That was oh. cute. Oh man. I really, I really set the world on fire on that one, huh? The guy said it was a devilish run. 
And everywhere's a racetrack, isn't it? <laughs> the guy said it was a devilish run. The guy at the uh, little starting line up there told me to do a burnout. I'm like, I don't even know if I can. <laughs> and then I did one. I backed up. Man, you're asking for a lot for me to do a burnout. My reaction time was a little slow, but I think it's just because it took so long to go somewhere. The reaction time was 5 point, 5.5, which is horrible. And my elapsed time was 6.66. That might have been why he said the devil. You didn't spin the tires, though. You don't have enough power to spin the tires. <laughs> we have a celebrity with us today. We have, this is a 65 Impala sister owner right here. Yay! <laughs> How long have you owned that 65 of yours? Uh, probably about 25 years. And how, how, in the 25 years? Shut up, I knew, I knew that what the next question was about ready how, to be. how many miles have you driven that car? Probably a couple hundred in all that 25 years. Oh my years. gosh, so what are you waiting on now to get it on the road? My brother. <laughs> no, I think you're waiting and on money. something else. I think you're waiting on something else. Tires. Get it registered. We have tires oh. now. Oh yeah, I got my tires. Yeah, we got the rear, so, the rear tires. I just need to get it registered. So that's a that's a celebrity of the day. So do you guys think uh, we should make another pass or is it absolutely worthless? I don't know. That's pretty bad. If you're gonna go right away, Mazda I think it's kind of worthless. <laughs> but it's really slow. It seemed like it. Like it seemed like it did really good, but it seemed like really slow and really quiet compared to what it used to be before. Right. Oh, of oh, course. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it was like way quieter. Day. Now. Isn't it weird how it went from like one ah. thing to like like this monster to like yeah. this kind of quiet cruiser that you're trying to go through a pass with. Yeah. That's what it's, like that, it's, it's like that one and only time I took my Impala down a quarter mile. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Yeah, we're like, oh look, she's cruising down the street. I know. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish off this hot August nights on the downtown cruise. So we tried to go through this previously and it was blocked off because of the rain. It wasn't happening, which sucked. So I canceled it. Yeah, it was like not happening at all. The rain has put a burden on this whole thing. You ought to check this thing out behind me. Check this out. I cannot believe this thing got registered into Hot August Nights. Look at this. Well, I am here to voice this over because this guy was bumping Biggie Smalls and I'm not trying to get a copyright strike. But this car was never registered into Hot August Nights, contrary to what I just said. Unreal. So I don't know who let this guy in. This guy snuck in somehow. And the funny thing is, this isn't the first time I've seen this vehicle or whatever you would call it before. Gotta love Reno, Nevada, huh? Uh-oh. Our buddy's making an exit. Wah, wah, wah. Not surprised to see him get pulled out. Not surprised. The BLT wrap. We're oh. done wrap. That wrap. It's a wrap. It's no, over. No BLT. Johnny Rockus doesn't serve BLTs anymore. <laughs> Downtown Cruise was definitely a topper to finish it off. That, that was, was nice. That was fun. I made up for the two and a half, three days of raining days that we missed. Yeah. What was your favorite car of the whole event? Uh, mine. Uh, yeah, Big Red, like, come on. So let us know in the comments what your favorite car was of the whole event, and I'm expecting all of you to say Big Red. Boo! All right, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.